Hello, my loves. My name is Jessie, and my intention behind creating this video is that it empowers you in realizing your divinity as truly sovereign human beings and to not be further subject to the programming that is infiltrating this society. Because as a truth seeker myself, I found myself going around in circles because I was like, do I either subscribe and believe the propaganda coming through mainstream media or do I go down the path of the more esoteric paradigm narrative that's going around? And I kept on coming to the same conclusion and that it's really important that we don't necessarily subscribe to one way of thinking or thinking that one person's actions and words are the ultimate truth either. And that we truly go within to find our inner truth and to continually practice discernment with every information that comes across our field, including the information I'm going to share with you. And so I figured I'm also a QHHT practitioner which is quantum healing hypnosis technique in which we can take people within themselves where they can access their higher self and get all the answers that we'd like to know if it was deemed appropriate for us to know. And so in a hypnosis session, what we do is essentially we bring someone into the theta state. Now the theta state is actually a natural state in which we go through twice a day, just before we fall asleep and just before we wake up. You know that point where you're like, you could be lucid, you could be sleeping. Now that theta state sits just above delta, which is fast asleep. So in a session, all we do is relax someone so that they are sitting just above delta in theta and we keep them there because that is where we have access to all the memories of our soul and access to our higher self. And so uh, I took a dear friend of mine, Hannah, through a session where she had some questions she wanted to answer and we came up with a few questions we thought might be useful to share. And the information that came through was pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie, pretty wild. And it also confirmed a lot of things I had seen in meditation, which was interesting. And I will be sharing segments of it, not all of it, I will, know when it's right to share most of it but for this particular video i'll share a part of it with you that actually took us both side by surprise because we didn't actually go in with the intention of asking about this and that topic is being the QAnon phenomenon right because there seems to be a bit of a duality of okay are we believing mainstream or are we believing QAnon? And that in itself can be a dangerous way of thinking because yet again, subscribing to one way of thinking and also relying on information outside of yourself. And I know it's a little bit ironic because I am obviously just another source of outside of ourselves information, but you can discern for yourself whether or not you want to take this on, but I'm just here to share it with you. I do have another video which I talk about how to, 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 to know whether something calibrates with your inner truth and even the scientific reason behind it, which I can put a link to in the comments. But please just listen with an open mind and take it or leave it. But the way that this particular clip that I'm going to share with you opens is that uh, Hannah 
did a pretty deep meditation a while ago and in this she saw this being come to her whether it was a guide or whether it was a multidimensional aspect of herself she had a very strong priestess energy and she was very non-earthly let's put it that way so if I've lost you already that's totally fine feel free to not listen to the rest of this but you know if you kind of want to expand your horizons a little bit, then stay tuned. <laughs> but that's how it starts. And yeah. And last thing I want to mention is it's interesting when we do connect to someone's higher self, there it tends to always be a significant um, personality shift in a sense, whereby they also speak about the person, the, the undergoing the session in third person. So that's why you can hear Hannah talking about herself in third person, because this is coming directly from her higher self. And yeah, this information about QAnon is pretty interesting. It talks about who's behind it and just a little bit about that concept of what's going on there and whether we can believe it to be the truth so I hope it helps she's going to feel like her insides are coming out <laughs> um, and that things are sort of collapsing as well, but it's part of a necessary collapse that needs to happen so she can embody more of her soul. Okay. And when that moment happens, could you assist her with that to happen gracefully and smoothly? Yeah, I'll guide her. Okay. Mm. And um, is there a, a particular sign that she might look out for that she knows that this is happening so it's not too much of a shock? Like a, mm. kind of a signal or like a certain thing that might be sent to her? Uh, when the time is right, there'll be a tone sent to one of her ears. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Um, did this uh, priestess have anything to do with, like, Lemuria? Uh, there was a collective that was present uh, in Lemuria. Mm. Uh, she wasn't there full time. She uh, would sometimes come. Uh, she was doing more off planet stuff, but there was, yeah, like a sometimes a visitation that she would do. And um, can you give us the name of the, of the planet where she was from or the type of being that she was? Uh, she, I just heard like dragon spiral sister, mm -hmm. um, but she's working with the dragons, so she's not, she's not one of them. Mm. Um, a, a kata, a kata, it's like a, um, a kata with a, with a Q. Um, uh, yeah. um, it's sort of like the the it's not the planet but it's the like area that she's working in mm. um, oh um, there's aspects of beings on <laughs> that's whack okay <laughs> um, beings on in that area that are, that are working with the QAnon group, like there's a, there's a fucking link there with the Qs. Mm. That's whack. I don't. What's that? Can you show it to Hannah very clearly, now, please? Um, there's just there's different access. So the people that were living in this area like when we came back to Lemuria mm. um, there's something specific about the shape of a queue and it's that little bottom bit that sort of moves through from the circle out um, that's how we would sort of travel down to um, the planet like a capital. yeah um, 
it was like that that little bit is like the passageway right. um and there's aspects of knowledge that are being passed through that passageway um and um yeah there's there's a level of distortion around that whole QAnon thing as well um yeah so uh ugh, there's like grossness around it okay. um but that's like an overlay that I'm seeing there's like all this murkiness that's sort of like trying to cover it up um there's aspects of I don't even know if it's the QAnon group, but it's something to do with the Q symbol mm. and the energies that um, that is there's planetary visitations happening from beings that are aligned with Q energy. It's like they use that like bit in the Q to like come into the planet or something. Um, there's a memorial in the US that's shaped like a Q. Mm. Um, that's one of the one of the points that sometimes um, these energies come to. So, um, can you continue this while uh, this body scan whilst I ask questions? Uh, yes. So, this speaking of QAnon, mm. what is it? Who's behind that? Can they be trusted? There's multiple aspects to it. Mm -hmm. um, there is an aspect that cannot be trusted. Which um, aspect is that? There's misinformation on the on the internet mm -hmm. around it. Um, some of the clues are, are false clues um, that are meant to trap people in circular thinking. Mm. Ha. Okay. So when the Q movement is aligned it breaks circular thinking because of, like if you think of the capital q symbol it's got that little thing that breaks the circle mm -hmm. um but there's something about that energy or information being um uh, being interrupted and causing s people to get stuck in circular thought loops mm. um and and it's just another distortion trap. They're stuck in that sphere. Mm. Um, there's, yeah, there's these levels of um, alien beings that are aligned to higher aspects of this movement. Mm. Um, they're not super present on Earth. Um, I think there's a time that they're waiting for. Um, the is also depending on the um, the frequency of the person that comes ac across some of this information, mm. uh, th they will uh, either get trapped in circular thought mm. with it because of these distortions or overlays. Um, but there are elements of uh, insight and information which are sort of like little crystals mm. that come through. Um, but you have to be in a place to receive that level of knowledge. Um, and there's also, if you have um, ties to, to this alien race, you sort of are able to access it a bit more. Do I don't know. know. What race it is? Is that the, is that the, um, the sort of the, the spiral dragon sister beings or um there's actually a there's like a collective here actually mm. um some different races um there is yeah one sort of like this woman which has very very elongated long face like oh pray mantis as well mm. um You don't have to access this knowledge through the QAnon stuff. Okay. It is a pathway that some of it is being released, mm. but the um, like the pray mantis is just telling me you don't have to. You mm. can um, access it through um, vibration internally mm. um, in meditation and stuff. So, what advice would you give us when um, people are looking to QAnon's information they release? 
straight up don't um generally don't trust it <laughs> um there's just a lot of overlay like there is um unless you're an adept and you know when you come across truth yeah. that it resonates yeah. i'd say steer clear because it's going to cause more loops right yeah okay but who so okay no okay i don't want to get too deep into that mm. okay i've got quite a few more questions so let me move to those questions